How you going Capricorn? I have your daily reading for today. I hope you're happy, healthy and feeling loved, or at least safe. Um, I'm going to do a reading for you and I'm, if, if it doesn't resonate, don't force it. It's not, not, not designed that way. It's not, not healthy, okay? Um, if it does resonate, can you give me a like and subscribe? Um, and I'm going to use three different decks to put a triple emphasis, let alone double emphasis on the spiritual message. I only pull like six, seven or cards out of each deck and then we jump to the next. Justice, there's balance here, there's the chaos of balance, ooh, the hangman, all right, we've got, ooh, there's your card, ooh, okay, cool, 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 oh, yeah, I got it, right, 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 all right, you may be using um, logic, okay, at the present moment, sitting on that solid foundation, she's sitting on her morals, her integrity, okay, um, with this cup locked away, it's not so much that you're not in love, not accepting love at the present moment it's that you're thinking more with your head than your heart okay she's sitting there with her hand on that sword okay it's not that she's going to pull the sword out and kill people with it it's that she that sword is her defense mechanism and her defense mechanism is in itself is um she can cut you with her words that's the best way and she will cut you down with her words the person i'm talking to is extremely extremely strong okay we do have the justice card here the justice card is natural law. That's the best way to look at the justice card is natural law and the way that the the wheel of karma walks around, okay? And that is balance, okay? It's like we need to release and let go or have a different perspective of something, okay, with the hangman here, um, especially with the balance in that um, justice card there, which is the karma, the truth, the wisdom, um, the legal matters potentially, but it's the cause and effect of life, okay? And it's with these two cards together, it says that you're walking in alignment with your higher self, okay? That's the reason it's, it's like balance and letting go of those things that um, hold you down. It could also mean where are you out of balance, but I don't get that, okay? The reason is, is we've got some thinking, okay? We may need to let go or release or have balance around our thoughts at the present moment. He does play on the mind there, but I got that more of that being your card, which that is your card there. But in the energies of it, he does play on the mind, okay? So you can see the thoughts are playing on the mind in some sort of way. And Spirit's saying there is balance, there needs to be balance, maybe a different perspective to look at it, but it also may be needing to release and let go. The reason is, is you can see that um, you've turned your back on something here, okay, where there's cups of love there, a lot of emotion, but we're walking towards the light, okay? And that's your extension there in itself but um, that is your trust and faith in our beautiful high honor um and spirit source yeah um your angels and and, and spirit guides and ancestors and archangels all that, all that beautiful stuff of that tree of knowledge up the top there um but it's like you're leveling up in some sort of way as you turn towards to walk towards the light uh in itself um the reason I say that is because of the logic in this one here. It's somebody that's using a lot of logic. Okay, you may be waiting on love or healing from some sort of love situation that's kept you awake and sad, a bit depressed and juggling those thoughts. Okay, juggling thoughts. Okay, but balance was needed. And there it is. It's like you're trying to high vibe or you're high vibing at the moment, the present moment. And the moon in that card there shows that um, we're highlighting things that we can't see. And there's also shadows there maybe as well. Um, shadows are the part of the psyche that we can't see, but it's also deception in itself. So um, it's like you're releasing and letting go of any type of deceptive relationship or broken heart that you've had and, or waiting for love in itself. Um, if you are waiting for love, but the best thing we can do is just release and let go to the universe and allow that soul purpose and that hope to come in and expect to just leave the expectations at the door. However, if somebody's broken your heart, it's like um, it's time to release and let go and let the balance of that karma and that justice just do its thing, yeah? Just do its thing, yeah? And embrace that unconditional love, yeah? She can birth new things. She's got a breast exposed there. It shows that she nurtures the things that she loves. Um, she's schools, see the school of fishes of the, as the angel wings there. It shows that you learn and that you're a beautiful person. We go straight to the learning card, okay? And releasing any baggage, okay? Because we do have releasing and justice there. Your temperance angels are watching over you and keeping you safe at the present moment, uh, Capricorn. But um, the whole thing is technically around your... Um, oh, there's the temperance angel right there. Uh, there's some sort of love, a divine love. It might be in yourself, okay? It might be in your inspiration, your creativity, um, just leave them on the back burner, okay? And if that's coming in, just 
Um, they know that those painful endings are over in love and that there's a potential for love or something around the corner. And it doesn't have to be a human being. It can be something that you generally love in life, um, something that builds you up to be the person you are. We're definitely juggling in thoughts or maybe looking for equilibrium at the present moment um, because we have balance there at the start, which is release and let go with that different perspective. Okay, then uh, we've just gone from the same card to the same card pretty much. So it's like spirits putting double emphasis on it. On there may be some sort of love, okay? But it's, I say maybe because it's got the Divine Temperance card before it, which shows Divine Timing, yeah? Um, and and we a natural boy, that was a natural born leader there. Um, as somebody who is unapologetically themselves. And it's a very inspirational person too. Trust in the intuition that you get at the present moment. Trust that um, if, you, if you are thinking that Divine is got Divine Temperance angel right there. It's literally the way it's working. So trust in the intuition you got. Here it is here, right? These three cards that just come out here in the last deck. All right, Divine Temperance Angel, love coming in, trust your intuition. And then here it is again, okay, but in a different way. Same card, same card, but trust your intuition in the, the in the major arcana, which shows it's like a major lesson in itself is to trust that intuition and spirits putting like major emphasis on to trust your intuition um, and trust and have faith, yeah, especially with that horrifying card there. And then your card, the devil at the, at the top there shows that you work very, very hard on yourself and you deserve beautiful things. Uh, just put your... Yeah, boundaries in place you've worked very resilient in your transformation very resilient into some sort of transformation okay and to be transforming into that unconditionally loving heart that just popped in there that was in there the same card that come out just be before which is this one here beautiful card uh, but it shows that um, just don't ostracize yourself and leave yourself out in the cold you know we can when we go through these situations we can um, highlight and illuse illusions that aren't really there. And that's what that is, is illusions, okay? And the moon highlights things we can't see, but it's also emotions, yeah? And it's like release any fears at this present moment. And because you walked away from something, okay? And the divine temperance angels are mixing up that balance of equilibrium. Um, you can see that there in those two, there in the card, in the middle of the card there. And that's also the balancing of um, life and the way that um, works. Maybe some sort of love situation, uh, release any fears around any love situation. Um, because it's going to bring you some sort of positivity and happiness and joy. Um, and that's flirtatious love too, okay? And it's joy, literally, literally emphasis. And we don't want that devil playing up here. Because see, it traps you in the mind. See, it traps that mind there, yeah? It traps that mind there. We don't want that. That's why we've turned our back and walking towards the light. Um, and having that connection with source and having that connection with our higher self. And knowing that we are everything we want to manifest and anything bad happens, the trumpet will be blown uh, by a judgment, uh, by Archangel Gabriel's judgment, especially around any endings and any new rebirths that are coming or anybody that steps in front of that as well with that um, justice will of that karma there in the first place. Uh, what's meant for you will always be for you and what's not meant for you will walk straight past. And we just let it as rejection is God's protection. There is some sort of love, okay? I want you to see this, okay? We've got love, see it, love, love, love. We've got the knight in shining armor of love, then we've got joy and jumping to make a wish. There's some sort of love in itself, okay? And she's unconditional love here. And then underneath her is the same card. So don't ostracize yourself, don't leave yourself out in the cold. But it also can be with the card that's underneath here of the moon um, and, and abundance as well. But with those two cards together, it's like leave this stuff out. See, because it's left out and then the fears. So release any fears and leave that stuff out and embrace unconditional love at this present moment. You've worked very, very hard on yourself and we can see that um, to have logic in your truth and stand beside your morals and, and truth and protect your energy at the present moment. Um, you're a beautiful person. Somebody just learnt something then. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to take the last deck and then we're going to end it at that. We've got the justice and release and go in order for the divine connection to come in. Um, yeah, sleepless nights, okay. We need to... Um, Release any fear around any broken hearts and things like that, okay? Um, and know that these things are gone. The best way to manifest love and manifest anything in life is to do it out of out of a beautiful, pure heart, okay? And pure intention and having good intention on those thoughts, okay? And that is divine judgment. That is the awakening. See, this is the awakening card that's come out here. Um, it's a beautiful card, but it's self-realization. Uh, you've moved away from some sort of situation and you've turned your back on the illusions in some sort of way, especially around love and you've chosen joy. Um, there is love and joy coming in, but we've got to first leave the stuff out in the cold, if that makes sense, okay? And stop juggling those thoughts um, and release and let go. It's literally just come back up again. It's the same cards that are at the start there. Um, don't ju judge and have equilibrium because we've got judgment. Don't If you're juggling your thoughts around any judgment at the present moment, art spirit's asking you to release that, let it go. 
um, and, and embrace your own enthusiasm and have your own infectious enthusiasm, especially in creative, creative new new abilities. Yeah, because the uh, divine um, has brought the d death card out, which is like it's like the phoenix that rises from its ashes. Yeah, it might be around family at the present moment, but you knew your worth, and you can see that it shocks them. They can't handle it when you know your worth, and it shocks them. See. When you stand there and put those boundaries in place and know who you are as a person and tell people that it's not it's just not going to happen uh, because you've got your new beginning and you are who you, unapologetically you at 10 10 on the clock but spirits like saying um, release any fears at the present moment uh, we've got double triple emphasis on releasing fears triple emphasis on release um, and moving away from some sort of uh, tricked in the mind things that play on your mind things like that okay um, choose love 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 and choose yourself to see um, she's um, accepting her worth, her value, and she knows what she brings to any relationship, let alone life itself. Um, and there's some sort of joy, positivity, and happiness. I want to show you something quickly before we move on. The middle row here, all right, I'm gonna pull it the way it was, is like you've pretty much, like the whole thing is centered. So this is a major life lesson, okay, because you have five major arcana in a row, okay? Uh, from divine timing and temperance aid to trusting your own psyche to releasing any fears and having that and any illusions around love and then accepting joy and positivity. That um, sun card is also a card of inner beauty and it shows how inner beautiful the whole row of that whole deck there is just cups of love, 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 love. Okay, so see, it started with love and it ends with the knight in shining armor of love, the flirtatious love and joyful love. This, uh, this soul has got nine cups of love and waiting for the tenth love. 10th cup of love so you may be waiting on love at the present moment but divine timing it will take divine timing to keep the faith as we can see keep the faith divine timing your angels are watching over you keeping you safe we've got the cup of love being mixed up and the inspiration is on fire in that love see the love's on fire yeah we're going to have a lovely, beautiful day and just remain as unconditionally loving as you can potentially do without allowing people to walk all over you and just remember that um, you are a beautiful soul and you deserve beautiful things take care